Okay, let's start. Uh, because I know uh, that you are receiving right now too much information, I will try to be short. And also about uh, data, we have the, the first course, which is focus how to collect uh, data, etc. So I would try to be uh, a little bit different from the first course here. Um, uh, again, uh, we need to stress the importance of the baseline here because uh, it's something that we need to compare to the target years in 2030, in 2040, in 2050. So uh, that's why we need to have accurate and reliable uh, data when we are creating, developing our baseline uh, emission inventory. Something that uh, you need to know is that in uh, Undercom, we have four key sectors. Uh, and our baseline emission inventory uh, should cover three of these uh, key com sectors. Um, the sectors are the municipal buildings, equipment and facilities, the tertiary buildings, equipment and facilities, the residential buildings, and transport, including municipal fleet, public transport, private and commercial transport. Already, Mirto presented to you our, let's say, energy a database covering different, uh, I would say all the sectors. And um, again, I will mention how we collected all this energy uh, data. And in the case that we don't have this uh, accuracy in, in our data, what uh, we can do. So here in our baseline, baseline emission inventory, we need to cover uh, three key uh, com sectors. And of course, if we find the methodology to develop our baseline emission inventory, then by default, we have the methodology for the mandatory and the years uh, to come. Um, here you can see some activity sectors and what actually we need to uh, collect uh, related with the energy data. About the municipal, uh, let's say, sector, we need to collect energy data about the final energy consumption and uh, CO2 emissions or GHG emissions about government offices, schools, police stations, hospitals. And of course, it will have yeah. someone is speaking. Yeah, thank you. And of course, if you have any activities related with the uh, water supply system, solid waste, was the water treatment and disposal facilities. Uh, the same with the tertiary buildings. You can see here in the slide uh, where you need to focus, like uh, the private companies, banks, commercial retail activities, private school hospitals. And in the residential buildings, you need to collect energy data related with quickie cooking, heating, cooling, lighting, and appliances. And of course, if you have any other energy data related with social housing. But it's easy to say, uh, difficult to collect, <laughs> but that's why uh, we do not seek uh, a, baseline, a, a baseline mission inventory with details inside. It's impossible to collect all this information from every energy consumer. That's why we need to insert uh, estimations and other approaches like uh, Mr. presented previously in the presentation about the baseline mission inventory. Here, uh, we'll just uh, give an example about how we can collect at uh, municipal level, usually uh, the local authority, um, they have an uh, energy database and they collecting all the energy uh, data. In the case they don't have, 
you can see in, in this slide the different steps that you can follow according to the uh, Cardinal Mayors and Guidelines. Uh, I would say here, uh, uh, if you don't have the municipal energy data, first of all, you need to identify uh, the person of the department receiving uh, uh, the invoice and energy data. In the case that uh, you are inside the, the city or you are a support structure like an energy city, I would say the most easy way is to develop a structure questionnaire with uh, specific questions about the type, of the different type of the buildings, the fuel consumption, and the electricity consumption. So, so you need to find, again, this person of the department and have this exchange and discussion with them. Also, it's a good opportunity, although this energy data, data will be used for the uh, development of the baseline emission inventory, it's good to collect also some sustainable uh, actions that they already store or implemented in their buildings. For example, rest or thermal insulation. Because as during the development of the, of the SEGAP, you will need also to propose some actions in order to reduce the CO2 emission. So you need to be, uh, we need to make sure that uh, all these actions that we are proposing are applicable. So uh, sources where we can find uh, reliable data. Uh, you can see here five categories. Uh, we have the regional national sources like the National Central Database and Tools, the Covenant Coordinators or the energy agencies. Again, I would say yeah, if you have different problems with the development of the action plan, please contact them. And of course, we have uh, regional energy observatories. We have the electricity providers, the market operators, very crucial stakeholder. Uh, we have, we may have different energy data coming through uh, EU projects and EU studies. And in the case that we don't have any energy data or we don't have accuracy in, in our data, we need our own to go and collect is data through surveys or inside visits or through local initiatives. I will just go directly uh, to the electricity operators because it's something that also Michelle mentioned. Uh, we have a good experience and actually our energy database was developed through um, the energy data that we have received from the uh, electricity uh, provider. Here, the, the, the key issue is to have a memorandum and agreement uh, with the electricity provider that the energy data that we are going to use will be used only for the SECAP purposes and not for any commercial uh, activities. We need to respect the GTPR and uh, we need to respect also um, the effort that the, this provider is doing in order to give us uh, this data. So I would say if you didn't think about this approach, it's the first thing that you need to do in order to develop your uh, energy uh, data. In the case that uh, we don't have a, any a data in our, in our hands, we need to create. But it's not, a, it's, it's not an easy task. I mean, you need a lot of time and therefore to gather all this energy data, but if we don't have any other choice. We need to go and organize different activities and uh, surveys in order to collect our energy data. And in this table, we try 
uh, again, through our experience, we try to collect all the sources uh, that you can visit or organize a meeting with them. And uh, I'm sure that we will find a solution and obtain this valuable uh, data. For example, the three first sources, the national strategies and the stat statistical services is something that in all countries uh, we have and uh, we can obtain. They are accurate, uh, they are accessible, but usually the level of details are at country or regional level. So that's why we are insisting to combined with some uh, electricity provider to collect data from the electricity provider or any other authority, market operator, uh, in order to gain data in more details. For example, at the postal code or at a neighborhood level. That way, combining these three sources, you have accurate data at local level. Of course, you can find other sources uh, listed in the table. But again, if you consider that you don't have accurate data, then you can organize local initiatives or competitions, or you can create questionnaires and you can visit uh, the different sectors that you need to collect and fill the gap. Again, this is not an easy task, but in case that you need to go out and collect, uh, first of all, uh, you will use assumptions and uh, conversion on a larger scale, like we did, like we've documented in the, um, in the previous presentation. Uh, the key point here is uh, to address to a larger sample in order to have accurate data. And uh, for examples, for example, if you want to check the efficiency measures in a city, let's say uh, with 10,000 inhabitants and uh, with a confidence level 95% and confidence interval 5%, you need to collect the same sample from 370 citizens. Uh, what does this mean? Is 95% that um, uh, you are going to organize this survey, 95% you will receive the same results with a variation of 5% five, 5 up or down. So here you have a good accurate data that uh, you can um, process and then you can upscale this data to a larger uh, population or to other fuel uh, consumptions. I will stop here. I don't know if you have any questions. Um, I know that collecting this data, again, it's not an easy task. And um, my suggestion is to find uh, the appropriate organizations that they have this energy data, like the statistical services, uh, the ministries, the energy agencies, the covenant coordinators are rather going out and um, collecting this data.